Operating in over 50 countries worldwide, Dowell Schlumberger's aim is to provide its clients with the best quality cementing, stimulation, sand control, and coiled tubing services. With a new determination and an eye to the future, DS is now making a particular commitment to its coiled tubing services. A key element in this new commitment is training. To date, there has undoubtedly been a lack of formalized training and procedures in the coiled tubing industry. DS firmly believes that the quality and reliability of coiled tubing services can be significantly improved by effective and thorough training and is committing the resources to doing that. Already widely respected for its extensive training in cementing and stimulation services, DS operates training centers in the UK, USA, Singapore and Brazil. But it was the UK training center near Nottingham, England, which was chosen to be the center of excellence for coiled tubing training. Okay, now this tool is used to isolate the bottom part of the tubing. So normally At this training center, 10 full-time instructors carry out over 12,000 man days of training every year. The center has extensive facilities to help ensure the quality of its courses. Theoretical training is undertaken in the well-equipped classrooms with supporting computer facilities and a laboratory. Practical tuition extends through workshop experience in equipment and tool maintenance to simulated well site operations using the training center's own well and drilling rig. The center now also has its own dedicated coiled tubing unit and a full range of auxiliary CT equipment. Three specific coiled tubing training courses have been developed and are currently held at the UK training center. The STEP course is a basic introduction to the operating and maintenance skills required for coiled tubing services. The emphasis, as in all of Dow Schlumberger's training programs, is very much with safety in mind. And one of the most important topics covered is well control theory. The STEP course also teaches, amongst other things, the basic understanding of the tubing and its limitations, conventional applications of coiled tubing troubleshooting and H2S training. For those who already have experience in the field, the Coil Tubing Tools course begins with a refresher on standard operating and safety procedures and tubing behavior and limitations. Okay. So by pulling it in the tubing... This course goes on to introduce state-of-the-art applications, such as the operation of downhole motors, cementing through coil tubing and stiff line applications. Throughout the course, the emphasis is on the practical aspects with the students actually simulating each of these operations, as well as receiving theoretical tuition in the classroom. It is also through this course that the R&D developments are transferred to the field personnel, with experts brought in to give the specialized practical and theoretical training. The formation selective treatment system, the compression set bridge plug, and the coil tubing logging system are examples of the innovative technology being covered. The TIM, or Tube Integrity Monitor, is one of our latest developments. The importance of service quality is hammered home to the students, and they're given instruction in specific ways of improving it. The use of the Tubing Integrity Monitor for real-time pipe inspection, the on-site data acquisition system, the PACR, and fatigue cycle monitoring using data stored on the PACR tape. The data on the tape is transferred into the CoilCade software package on the office computer system. In CoilCade, there's a tubing history database which takes the job data 
and carefully analyzes the fatigue history of each element on the reel. The third course is targeted at field engineers routinely involved in designing coil tubing jobs. Metals, yeah. For coil tubing, uh, this area here is very important, which is called the plastic. The advanced range. service module is consequently biased towards the theoretical aspects. Although the students still spend about 40% of the time in job simulation, to ensure they gain an appreciation of the practical implications of a job design. The course covers the in-depth theory of the pipe, the importance of fatigue and the limitations of the pipe, as well as studying the loads on the pipe in the well and the use of the tubing forces model in coil cade for analyzing these loads. The student is instructed in all of the coil cade modules, the theory behind them, what information is needed to run them and how to interpret the outputs. Uh, looking at that in a little more detail. A major part of the course is spent on the new technology applications, as in the advanced service module, but with the emphasis on the job design aspects. The idea is that once we've set the tool, we then pull free, shearing out. To about 2,200, and then we shear the pan. Again, specialists from the R&D department in the USA and from the technique department in Paris are brought in to supplement the expertise of the training center's own instructors. Part of the commitment which is more than just talk. The objective of these comprehensive training programs is simple. By ensuring that the field personnel use standardized safety and operating procedures, understand the limitations of the service, and are knowledgeable in the range of applications, conventional and state-of-the-art. Dow Schlumberger can give you the best quality and most professional coiled tubing services on your well.